I want to make a point before this video begins. This video is not intended to promote you actively using the words fuck you every chance that you can, because that won't serve you well. Rather the video is intended to make sure you do not exclude it from your vocabulary. But instead, make sure you have the internal ability to use these words when the situation is necessary. Thanks and enjoy the video, please consider subscribing for more content like this. In a world where societal expectations often pressure men to be polite, accommodating, and avoid confrontation, there comes a time when it is essential for men to reclaim their personal power. In this video, we will explore why men need to assert themselves and say fuck you to toxic individuals who undermine their self-worth and happiness. Ultimately so men can continue on their self-improvement journey and have the ability to progress despite of other individuals. Toxic Relationships Toxic relationships can poison every aspect of our lives, leaving us drained, frustrated, and disconnected. For men, these relationships can have a profound impact on their mental and emotional well-being. Whether it's a manipulative partner, a toxic friend, or an overbearing family member, allowing toxic individuals into our lives erodes our self-esteem and happiness. Men, in particular, may face societal pressures to avoid confrontation and keep their emotions in check. This can lead to enabling toxic behavior, often at the expense of their own well-being. It's crucial to recognize the signs of toxicity and understand the negative effects it can have on mental health, relationships, and overall happiness. Reclaiming personal power. Reclaiming personal power means taking a stand and saying fuck you to those who undermine, disrespect, or manipulate. It's about asserting your self-worth and refusing to be treated poorly. By setting boundaries and standing up for yourself, you regain control over your own life. It's important to understand that reclaiming personal power does not mean stooping to the level of toxicity or engaging in harmful behaviors. Rather, it is about asserting yourself in a healthy and assertive manner, without compromising your values or integrity. Setting Boundaries One of the most important aspects of reclaiming personal power is setting healthy boundaries. Boundaries define what is acceptable and what is not in your relationships and interactions. By setting boundaries, you communicate your needs, values, and limits to others. Men may face unique challenges when it comes to setting boundaries. Society often expects men to be self-sacrificing and accommodating, which can make it difficult to assert themselves. However, by recognizing the importance of boundaries and their role in preserving mental and emotional well-being, men can start saying fuck you to those who disregard their boundaries. Overcoming fear and guilt. Saying fuck you to toxic individuals requires overcoming fears and letting go of guilt. Fear of confrontation, judgment, or the potential fallout can hold men back from asserting themselves. Similarly, guilt may arise from societal expectations or a desire to maintain harmony. It's crucial to recognize that prioritizing your own well-being is not selfish but necessary for your mental health and happiness. Overcoming fear and guilt takes courage and self-reflection. Remember, saying fuck you doesn't have to be loud or aggressive, it can be a quiet assertion of your self-worth. Empowering self-expression When men say fuck you to those who undermine their worth, they reclaim the freedom to express their authentic selves. Society often imposes rigid expectations on men, stifling their individuality and self-expression. By embracing the power of saying fuck you, men can break free from societal constraints and live life on their own terms. By expressing themselves authentically, men can cultivate a greater sense of confidence, self-acceptance, and fulfillment. This self-expression can extend to personal interests, career choices, and relationships, fostering a greater alignment between who they are and how they live their lives. Embracing self-care and mental health. When saying fuck you to toxic individuals, it's essential to prioritize self-care and mental well-being. Toxic relationships can take a toll on mental health, causing stress, anxiety, and even depression. By removing toxic influences, men create space for self-care practices that promote overall well-being. Seeking support from friends, loved ones, or professionals is an important step in this journey. It's okay to ask for help and to invest in your mental health. By practicing self-care, setting aside time for relaxation, engaging in activities you enjoy, and focusing on personal growth, you create a foundation for long-lasting happiness and confidence. Building healthy relationships. Saying fuck you to toxic individuals not only allows men to reclaim their personal power but also paves the way for building healthy relationships. By removing toxic influences from their lives, men may Make room for positive, nurturing connections with supportive and uplifting people. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect, trust, and genuine care for each other's well-being. When toxic individuals are no longer part of the equation, 
Men can foster relationships that bring out the best in them, encourage personal growth, and provide a sense of belonging and support, cultivating confidence and self-respect. Saying fuck you to toxic individuals is an act of reclaiming one's confidence and self-respect. By standing up against those who undermine or disrespect them, men reaffirm their worth and value. Cultivating confidence and self-respect is an ongoing journey. It requires self-reflection, challenging self-limiting beliefs, and embracing personal strengths and accomplishments. When men refuse to tolerate toxic behavior, they create space for self-growth, personal success, and the belief that they deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. I cannot stress this enough, it is crucial for men to assert themselves and say fuck you to toxic individuals who undermine their self-worth and happiness. Reclaiming personal power, setting boundaries, and prioritizing self-care are essential steps in this process. By embracing self-expression, building healthy relationships, and cultivating confidence and self-respect, men can live authentically and create a life of fulfillment and happiness. If you did enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe for more content like this.